Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I have a little to say about rewriting history and jumping timelines and uh, merging uh, dimensions and timelines and so forth. So, wow, look at the sunlight. Wow. It's, it's almost summer solstice. Tomorrow is a solstice day. So I'm getting what you might call my dirt time or my pine needle time. Uh, today, because of the the sunlight is just so incredible the, that I'm trying to doing my best to absorb as much of the of the atmosphere as I can today and tomorrow. So just um, I thought I'd I thought I'd go over maybe probably over my own shadow aspects, which generally I don't recognize except uh, on the psychic plane. Other people tell me about them. So I'm a very um, uh, quiet person, peaceful. Um, I, I don't think much. <laughs> I, uh, I, I go walking in nature. <laughs> I don't care much about politics, actually, or headlines. I never watch television, you know. I, I, lead, I lead a, a very quiet, celibate lifestyle. I'm very meditative, right? But what do I hear about myself on the, on the astral plane? I hear people say the exact opposite about me. They say that I'm always talking. They say I can't be quiet. They say uh, I, my mind is very restless. And I say, I say back to them, I say, are you sure you have the right person? <laughs> because it doesn't make sense to me, right? <laughs> but I have the funny thing is I have the same kind of thing to say about them. They might be the same kind of person like me, but but I'm hearing all these scenarios, these incredible scenarios from them about war and like uh, you know just, just uh, craziness, like hatred. You know, when in fact they they may be a very loving person. I'm hearing that they are all about hatred, kinds of things like that. The exact opposite of the way they are. But would they ever believe that if I were to tell them? Oh, not a chance. You know. But these are the polarities that we have to merge. <laughs> and so when we see the head. Lines. Like uh, Peggy Black talks about doing the headlines, right? She does her, her meditation on the headlines every morning and she changes the world outlook for the, on the headlines from something negative to something extremely positive for the world. And in that way, she's rewriting the whole world, right? She's owning the headlines. She's a path, pacifist who is rewriting war. She's a uh, a person who is rewriting all of the like uh, scarcity that she sees in the newspaper she, and then in the headlines, rewriting it into a world of abundance and so on, right? And so she's taking she's taking what she sees in the world as other, which is in fact her own shadow side, and transforming it in that way, which is that wonderful way to do it. So we may see people that represent these qualities that are actually our own shadow side. And we may choose to forgive and completely absolve and love them. And what we will really be doing is, is forgiving, completely absolving, and loving ourselves. And the reason for this is that all that we see out to a space of about nine feet out all around us, this is our hologram, okay? We exist in a void, a complete void, the void in which we create what is in the hologram. We are the creator, co-creator gods of the universe. We create what is in our hologram. Okay, So we perceive something as other, which in fact is an impossibility. That which we perceive is really ourselves uh, creating this play. Huh. So, um, so that's why it's completely easy when we are... We're hearing these, these astral stories like going on and on, spinning off in our minds. It's very easy to rewrite all that history and to, um, and to switch timelines and to switch dimensions and to merge everything. It's because it's all ours, all ours completely, completely up to us to erase and rewrite and do what we want. And that includes all the people that we hear too because we're creating them. Ha! <laughs> through free will for the all, right? So, uh, let's see, there was one other thing about that. Uh, yeah, so the astral stories are going along right now quite at a quick, quick clip.
And every time that they get very scary or like very um, uh, not me into the shadow side, I just say spirit to team, uh, optimize timelines or and dimensions for the all through free will. And this is the thing that convinces us, convinced me anyway, it convinced me that this is just a hologram because the minute I do that, the whole astral kaleidoscope, the whole astral story changes completely as if it never existed. So these astral stories that are being like unfolding and spinning off right now, they have to do with our, with our soul wounding and our shadow side and accepting them completely into us. Um, so, and they're being very ingeniously arranged by God by, through the deftness, deftness of the hand of God, you know, is allowing us to see the shadow side of ourselves so that we may incorporate it, you see. So, so there's that rewriting history just like that. I rewrite that history. None of that astral story needs to happen. I rewrite that physical story that happened to me. That past never happened and this is what happened. I, I jump to the future. I become that future, a universally loving um, being of light and I jump back into this present time in that form. We can do what we want. This is our hologram. It's completely empty. It's like on Star Trek, the completely empty hologram waiting for us to fill it with the experiences that we wish to create for through our God nature. Huh? So. <laughs> um, as to how it could be that other people's holograms relate to our own and and co-create with us the reality that all of we human beings um, experience. I don't know how that is. Um, I don't know how that synchronous reality um, happens, except to say that the grace of God and and the deftness, deftness of the hand of God are, are just uh, marvelous incredible and uh, I one other thing uh, I found out the other day that the creator breath that Sandra Walters recommends is an incredible help with merging all of the timelines and dimensions into the one now and the one present and I will try and find her description of that creator breath for you separately but I'll explain it a little bit right now. Um, you just put your arms out, you know, straight out, palms, palms straight out on each side of, you know, at the height of your shoulders. And then you inhale completely and bring both hands into your, to your heart. A really big, strong inhale. Bring those heart hands into your heart. And as you inhale, you're inhaling all of your timelines and dimensions and astral experiences, all of the different um, rewrites of history that have been happening to you to, that day. And you bring them all in and merge them in the nowness of your heart, in source there, inside your heart. And keep holding the breath in until you feel the, um, the, the strong... Um, warmth of that merge emerging from your heart and like crystallizing and changing your whole body structure. It's an incredible experience. Try to keep holding your breath in for as long as you possibly can and then some, all right? And when you're ready to exhale, you exhale and back your hands out in a great sweeping arc, back out like as far as they are and, and exhale out your new creation the new creation that you want for the world. Okay, I'll try to find some better description of it that she has given, but that's the way I do it because of what she says. And I do that many times during the day. Every time my, see, this is the thing. Um, my mind's not fully tra trained yet because my heart's energy is not fully open to all of the dimensions. So 
escaping from me in the subconscious context and the unconscious context during the day are astral creations that I don't really intend to create like these stories that I begin to hear that the mind fabricates without my, based on old soul wounding, without my absolute say-so, right? So all of these things are circulating in my hologram, even though I change things and rewrite things. I may have a million rewrites circulating in my hologram in one day, or at least a few, right? So the creator breath takes everything from within my hologram, pulls it in with the inhale into my heart, into source itself, and then holding the breath in for a little bit longer than is comfortable changes like the metabolism of, of the body and the, it completely changes the hologram, the golden light of, of the hologram comes out. And, and, then, and then as you exhale out, you exhale out that golden light, that beautiful soul creation. Uh. Well, take care. I, I believe I finally stopped talking. <laughs>